Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. A little late on the anomaly mission, but we're going to go ahead and get that done today. Um, you're probably wondering about the appearance. Well, the experimental branch has the latest updates um, that are going to be coming to the regular game very soon. So we're going to do our anomaly mission with our new ship, the Starborn Runner, and with a slightly different appearance package on my... Uh, well, this is my first main save from about four years ago. So we're going to be doing with that, with the new multi-tool. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be quite the, quite the something. A little preview. Um, multi-tool is a very nice Atlas Scepter. Uh, it comes complete with a Neutron Cannon as well. It doesn't do a terrible amount of damage, but you can't uh, glitch duplicate your upgrades anymore at all. They've somehow managed to clean that out. So you really have to start looking for them. It's kind of difficult, but still 60,000 damage out of this. And we've got a nice runic lens that comes with it. So, and it comes complete with a paralysis mortar and voltaic amplifier on top of it all. So very nice. Uh, we still have yet to upgrade our scanner, but that's okay. New backpack as well. The Atlas backpack. It's very sharp looking and it goes very well with our ship. So we're going to really enjoy this. So let's get started on the anomaly mission and see what we got. It looks like substantial losses is the name of our new mission. An explosive laboratory incident has left Polo short of raw materials for their research. Nada and Polo request travelers harvest a number of exotic substances to replenish the anomaly's supplies. Looks like they want 948 activated indium. Now, I'm pretty sure before I get started, I'm going to double check my inventory, but I'm certain I don't think I have any activated indium on me. But I better double check. Because I've been known to do that, and it would just kind of shut down the mission immediately now, wouldn't it? Doesn't look like there's anything there. I do have some indium on me, but not activated indium. Um, so that is good. And I'm pretty sure the freighter, which is in another system, its main inventory does not have it either. Okay, good. So we are clear to proceed. Let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully it doesn't need something different. So we'll go ahead and grab it. See, that said fecium. This is activated indium. I guess we're going to find out, right? And start the mission. Let's go ahead and get moving. So it looks like it. we're going to be surprised by what we're going to have to gather. There we go. Mission started. Substantial losses on our merry little way. So we'll go in hyperspace and check out the first planet it comes to we'll come back to the anomaly afterwards as usual little thing you can do in hyperspace in case you didn't know if you can do barrel rolls with certain ships this unfortunately is not one of those ships so if I try to do a barrel roll it ignores me and here we are I love the jet trails on this thing too it's really cool All right, let's see where to. Activated indium detected, so at least I had it right this time. It looks like it's over here. There we go. So we're going to head over to the, it looks like this is a water planet too, but it does have land mass. So we're heading over to the mass of land, mass of land, land mass, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go look for it. So, now that we're in the planet's area, we don't have to pick any place in particular. Looks like there's something over here. Is that a... It is. It's a minor... Minor settlement. We'll go ahead and use our landing pad. And check it out. Excellent. Now, because we're here, we will, of course... Shoulders of Atlas. That's really cool. Check out the multi-tool just to see what it happens to be. Nothing special. B-class. Looks like it does come with a blaze javelin if you're into that sort of thing. So nothing special here. Activated Indian moments, 990s. So let's take a look around. We've got a deposit not far away at all. Now because it's activated Indian we're after, we know that this place gets some nasty storms. So we'll have to be very careful.
All right, so we need 990. And this is a very weirdly uh, colored planet. So the everything we're viewing on here seems to be very uh, chromatic, if you will, towards one spectrum. In this case, it looks like more towards the red spectrum and gray. So, so far, so good. It doesn't look like we're being attacked by anything. I haven't checked out any of the animals, of course. We'll probably have to get at least one of these, possibly more of these. Now, the glitch duplication I found does work on other items, but again, it does not work, at least in the experimental branch, whether it will be completely eliminated or not, I don't know, but it does not seem to work on the upgrades themselves. So if you put an S-Class upgrade in there, it will not allow you to even put it in to the small refiners. I haven't charged, ch charged. I haven't checked large refiners yet. Find out, I guess. So we got a storm coming in. I don't mind that. It's a hot storm, so I should be able to just weather it. But it's the windstorms we got to watch out for. And it looks like it brought color back in. Fascinating. Got to keep my shield up. Well, that was weird. Like the storm started over again. Okay, looks like we're getting quite a bit of activated indium, but I can't be certain. I think we're at the bottom of the pile. It's hard to tell over here. Now we can see the activated Indian. You can see the blue in amongst it. That's really strange. I don't know about you. I don't think I've ever seen it like that before. So I am recording this kind of late at night. Won't have my daughter interrupting me like a, she did on my live stream. <laughs> so I did find that kind of cute. All right. I think that's all of it. That I can see, anyway. Alright, let's see. How much did we get? Gotta go to the top here. 752. So, not bad. It looks like there's a little bit more left here. But it would probably be just better off for us to find one more deposit. Oh, that's the deposit we're at. A little too far away. What else we got? 428. That looks like it's closer. Uh, 396 is even closer. 286 is the closest. And it looks like it's pointing it out to us, so that's pretty cool. And because it's a bad storm, and it's a hot storm, your jetpack works a little better. And more efficiently, if you will. Alright, we only need about 200 more, right? See? It reset again. Look at that. This is the strangest planet I've ever been on. So our numbers at the bottom... We need, what, 200 more? 100 more? Not quite 200. One hundred more to go. And then we're done. So again, nasty storms, but if you're careful, you should be fine. I don't know if we've quite reached it yet. Unfortunately, the bottom right corner of our screen is not keeping up with us. It's wanting to bring in every single thing going on. All right. It looks like it says source items for the space anomaly. I think we're done. Let's find out. Yep, we're over a thousand. Okay, so we just need to get to our ship. 
All right, good. So we'll use the storm to get back to our ship rather than calling the ship in. Nice. Very nice. Okay, good deal. Let's head over to the secure depot it wants us to head towards. Now, one thing you can do, you can adjust the settings on your weapons and divert power to your engine. See, I just knocked two minutes off my time getting there, but we're still going to go into the armor atmosphere and get there just a touch quicker. Now, one of the great things about this ship, and I'll show it to you here just in a second, maneuverability. 1741 maneuverability. This thing is highly maneuverable. The most maneuverable ship they've ever made. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Proximate location. I don't think he's in the water. So we're going to have to look. Oh, that must be it right there. There we go. Wasn't sure whether it was recognizing my landing sequence. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, the comments from people. Couple nice, decent ships there. There's an A-class ship over there with the TIE Fighter-style winglets. Another one, C-class. Like to always check out some things while we're here. Good hauler over there if anybody, anybody likes haulers. Okay. Set the terminal. Delivery lockbox prepared. Accessing. This must be Polo Secure Lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. Deliver 750 activated and you so you get to keep some. Delivery processing success. And we're done. All we need to do now is head back to the anomaly. So let's go ahead and take my wonderful little ship, the Starborn Runner, back to the anomaly. And that should end our anomaly mission, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Probably the shortest mission I've done in a long time. So I was wrong about this being a an Atlantid um, ship. Still kind of surprised by that. But we've got other rumors coming through. Possible um, ship customization might be uh, in the works. So we don't know what the upgrade's going to bring. And we're hopefully going to see it in the next week. So that'll be great. And if we are... Look for my live streams. I'll have a few of them going on. All right, so that should take care of it. Head back to our nexus here in the anomaly. Complete the mission. We'll get 1,800 Quicksilver. And we get some green fireworks. Yay! And finally, that should do it. So if you're wondering what is in the Quicksilver store, we'll check that out real quick here. Notice his emblems changed a little bit. Looks like his head. <laughs> so it looks like everything is still the same here. I'm going to go ahead and get these because I haven't gotten them yet. Got plenty of Quicksilver. As you can see, they're all available because I purchased them on other saves. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect those real quick. If you collect it on one save, you can collect it on every save. Keep that in mind. See, and I can buy others if I want. Finally. Some that I haven't bothered yet. Uh, not bothered. I haven't purchased yet. So there we go. Anyway, so that's it. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Mainly because if you go here to the exploration guide, um, there's not normally going to be a whole lot going on as far as... That's interesting. This does not have the community research in here anymore. Fascinating. That's because the research has been diverted to a new terminal, and this terminal over here is the terminal in question. It is now the Expedition Terminal. So you'd come here for anything that you want to do, including expeditions. So 
watch out for this in the future um, in the next update so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here and I hope you enjoyed this special anomaly mission for the weekend of the 9th 10th and 11th of February 2024 and enjoyed a little special sneak preview of our ship here the Starborn Runner it's a very nice and sleek ship it's got some very cool appearances to it um, I really like this ship a lot it's gonna be quickly become one of my favorites I'm still partial to the Sentinel ships but that's okay this one is quite cool looking so hope you've enjoyed the episode Please hit the like and subscribe. As you know, it always helps the analytics and the uh, everything that YouTube does in order to make our channels a little more popular. So thank you very much again, folks, for watching. We'll see you again next week.